link to the Twilight Zone. That was on and off in 10 minutes, literally walked on. Here we go! Good morning, welcome to a new day in Orlando. I can't remember what day it is, I think it's day. It's a new day. I think it's day seven. Yeah, Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's day seven today. So, Thursday. Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day seven. Day seven, yep. So, I welcome to, to day seven. You have to count it because you, can't, you lose track of days here. It's um, a number, it's not a day, is it? Yeah, so we're heading to Walmart to grab some more breakfast bits and orange juice and stuff. You we're going to fill up as well, but I won't tell I'll, I'll tell you how much the price is right this second, but we've been driving past Walmart fuel station. It's been going up, down, up, down on the minute. Yeah, because we drove past it and it was like two ninety nine, and then we came back half an hour later and, and it had gone, gone down, down to, to like, 292 two, yeah it had gone down like 95 92 so we'll we'll show you how much it was cost when we get fueled in a little bit but we're gonna head into walmart probably won't show much in here but we'll get some breakfast bits and then go for get some fuel so as of recording it is the 6th of december it's 292.9 and 379 for diesel and I'm gonna go fill up, but that might change. So let's get some fuel in the car. So we just filled up. It was uh, cheaper on the pump than it was at the, the sign outside. So sign yeah. Says 292. And it the was pump was 289. 289. Nice. Oh, we need to ring the management company of the villa because our Wi-Fi is gone. It's gone for like 12 hours. Yeah, we need to be able to contact home because we got the little one there. Also, the North Lake Wilson Road one has got a gas station, didn't see it, and they've got um, coffees any and size, ices. Any size coffee, up to, 20, up to 20 ounce, so you can have any of them, I think there's 12 for 16 and the 20, or $1.48. One dollar forty-eight. And, uh, and then um, the fountain, fountain drinks, drinks and the slushies. 70, of fountain drinks are 78 cents, 78. and I think their slushies are 99 cents. Yeah, so a really good option if you're looking for... If you're for, around this area... Yeah, if you're in the Kissimmee area... Or you, we're next to... So we're, there's Windsor Hills. Yeah, we're next to the, Windsor Hills Resort there, and then there's um, Wyndham, is Mystic, it? Yeah, Mystic, yeah, Mystic Dunes, Dunes Resort, Resort and Golf, Golf Club, Hilton Vacation Club, if you're that fancy. <laughs> if that's what you're going for in Florida. It looks really, it looks nice really nice. posh and really nice. We looked nice. at that before, but, it's quite but it, was, it, was, it was out of our price bracket. So yeah, definitely looking at a good option for, and the coffee's actually really tasty. I wasn't expecting it to be. And they did, they did have different flavors. I'll show you when we go in again, because we're going to go in again, are we? Yeah, because I want a slushy on the way home. Oh, yeah, Mrs. B wants a slushy. So we'll show you that it's one. It's too early for a slushy right now. Yeah, perfect time for coffee, but too early for a slushy. Yeah. Also, the weather's about... Uh, 15 we, at the moment. We woke up and it was about 12 when we left the house, so I'll pop the screen it's up here. It's now 15. And it's now it's 15. It's high of 12 today. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. We've been wearing hoodies for the last But I'm hard, I'm wearing shorts. It's, it's actually really nice, it's, it's really pleasant. A, turned from a southern fairy to a northern monkey. But yeah, I've still got a jumper on. It's not big coat off. weather yet though, is it? No, it's not big coat weather. <laughs> I did jump in the pool as well. That was very brave of me. So anyway, head Everything back to the villa. Back yeah, it was really cold. <laughs> uh, we head back to the villa and then get our stuff ready after ringing the management company to get onto Hollywood Studios. So we'll catch up with you after that. So we're just getting ready to head towards Hollywood Studios and we've just got our pack up because we went to Walmart last night and grabbed some bits. We've got chicken, cheese and ranch, bacon pinwheel. Mrs. B just found the rotisserie chicken salad, a couple of bag bits of crisps, some strawberries, I've got some apple with banana chips and peanut butter, yum, and a pepperoni with cheese in the middle, some crisps, I've got ruffles, a couple of drinks, just Mountain Dew and Powerade, Gatorade, and Mrs. B got a Milky Way. <laughs> So we came to Hollywood Studios a couple of nights ago and it was all dark, just to see all the, lights, to see all the Christmas lights and stuff, it was awesome. But now we've come during the day to go on some rides and hopefully get on Tower of Terror maybe. Absolutely loving the clear skies and the skyline looks awesome. 16 degrees, 
still cold. <laughs> so the plan for today is going to hit up some of the rides here and then we've got lunch in a bag so we can jump on the Skyliner for a bit of a break because we've never been on it before and we're going to just go probably go around to a couple of the resorts that it goes to, have a look at them and then probably come back into the park if we don't get on the things we want to get on. So yeah, let's head into Hollywood Studios. Always first port of call is the loo though, because you need know, a wee -wee. need a wee wee. Yep, December 6th, just before Christmas. We've been here a week. Been here a week already. How been time flies. Ladies, let's go. gentlemen, and members of the Academy, welcome to Disney Hollywood Studios. Thank you. So the decorations at Hollywood Studios are so old fashioned looking, they're absolutely awesome. So on my very first visit to this park we have a picture of my whole family because we came as a big group of us and the family. And my aunties, my cousins, my nan, my mum, everybody. And it was my la my mum's last holiday. Oh, uh, shall yeah, my granddad Ken. Um, I'll stick a picture of us, well, them on the on the screen now, because they were stood in front of this, and it's a really happy memory for me. Yeah, because my mum's not with us anymore, but it's such a cool memory to have. Uh, we've managed to get to Florida. It's around to the left over there. Is it? Yeah. So we've just come around to Hollywood Tower Hotel, Tower of Terror. 25 minute wait. We're gonna head around to the left and go on to a rock and roller coaster with Aerosmith because that's only a 25 minute wait too. I love these rides. These are so like nostalgic for myself personally. Because of the trip. Because of the trip we took. When was that, 2006? Six. Yeah, 2006. Yeah, one of my most memorable holidays. And the standby entrance is only a 15 minute wait. Here like this. There's nobody here, mate. Yeah, the whole oh, queue's no, empty. No, no, no. Don't worry. Are you ready for this one, Tan? Yeah. That looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> she just watched the launch. This is B and Tanya. Got front row. The lucky buggers. That was on and off in 10 minutes, literally walked on. We went down for about two minutes and then literally just shut everybody off and it was awesome. Also, if you notice, I've actually picked up myself a hat. Walt Disney World hat and it's actually Nike. $39.99 in a shop in the Aerosmith um, gift shop at the, as we walked out. We're going to walk on to Tower of Terror now. So I've got some footage of Rip Ride Rocket. Not Rip Ride Rocket, I'm kind of speak, wrong park. Rocking roller coaster. I've got some footage on my GoPro, but it might not be very usable. Hi, Tan. <laughs> Every time you walk past me, here, man. So yeah, uh, I'll stick the footage in because that was awesome. What do you reckon, Tan? Thumbs up. <laughs> Rock on. Soundtrack's epic on that. I love it. But we missed out all the pre-show, so we didn't. Still twenty-five minutes. Uh... Still twenty-five for Tower of Terror. So let's go on. She tried it, but she was tired of this ride.
story in the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. We just jumped off Hollywood Tower of Terror, Tanya's first experience. That was great. It's awesome, it isn't it? You don't know when you're going to drop, you love it. <laughs> the uh, ride said 25, we got on and off in about 18. 18 minutes. How good is that? So we're going to head round to see what else the ride times are like today, because obviously the more you go on rides, the busier it gets. So we'll go see what we can get on. Well, we've got a limit. We can stay here all day, so we don't have to worry about waiting too long. <clears throat> So let's go see what else we can ride. So we're heading around to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Mart Railway. I didn't say it wrong. We don't know how long the wait is. Let's have a look. Standby entrance is. It doesn't say 45. Shall we do it? It's going to be longer than that. 10:52 now. We'll check in with you when we get off and uh, tell you how long it took. Head into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Ready? We all just got off Mickey's Runaway Railway. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Railway yeah. Ride, whatever it's called. Absolutely awesome, like, so, like, it's really good. Cute and fun. I do advise not watching any videos on it though, because it will if ruin it not, completely if you've not been up before. But yeah, first time me, Amy, and Tanya have all been on it, and it was absolutely awesome. Love that little ride. Yeah. We watched the Mickey shorts as well, so, because Lily really, really enjoyed them. Oh, Definitely worth watching awesome. those. Where are we heading to now? Oh, go to the oh, nips, yes. nips of the loo, grab something to eat because we're getting hungry now. So we just stopped off in the back lot diner, I think it's called. And we grabbed some fries because Mrs. B loves fries with her sandwiches. Always. And we just got our pack up with us, so we're just going to munch that. And they also have loads of ranch and mayo and honey mustard on the side, so we just grabbed some. Let's eat. This is just the chicken, cheese and bacon ranch from Walmart. It was $3.78. Yeah, I've got extra ranch to go with it. Looks really good. We're just wrapping up lunch. Uh, look at the size of this monstrosity. It's huge. It's a beautiful strawberry, but it's massive. All fueled up, ready to go for some more time in the park. How long's this one? Indiana Jones. So we're going to head round to Slinky Dog because we really want to get onto that because that's one of our... We haven't seen Toy Story Land for ourselves yet, this looks awesome. We're going to jump... Slinky Dog's just dropped down from 50 to 45 so we're going to jump on that, let our dinner go down hopefully and then ride the roller coaster. So we've just headed into Toy Story Land. I get lost everywhere in this place. I'm not a Disney guy. On the way in though, Buzz Lightyear and his Christmas hats meeting and greeting. Oh, just over there. And then we're heading into Toy Story. Can we get a photo? Like I say, this is our first time coming into Toy Story Land, but this time it's even more epic because they've got massive Christmas lights up and it looks like the ones you have in your loft. <laughs> Rex and Jesse up there getting uh, tangled in the lights. So we've made it around to Slinky Dog and it's 40 minutes now. 
So uh, let's jump on this. We're all fed and watered. And we're going to head on to the roller coaster. Hopefully, 40 minutes is enough time for our dinner to go down. So we went on Toy Story, not Toy Story, we went on um, Mickey's Runaway Railway and it was posted at 45 and then we've, yeah, we took it took us an hour. So this one's posted at 40, we'll tell you how long it takes us this one. 12.38 12, 12, now. Yeah, I did it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just rode Slinky Dog Dash. Definitely not, definitely not worth an hour wait though. No. It's a lovely little run for little ones. That is a really sweet ride. Yeah, really like gentle, nice and uh, nice way to get them into a bit of a, bit of a to thrill. Start a starter coaster. It's a yeah, starter coaster. Literally, if you've got like a four or five year old, they would love that. Oh, God, no, would have Theming that. is incredible, and it's just like it's such an easy coaster to ride for for the little ones. Nice and gentle. We're gonna have a wander around, take some pictures in Toy Story Land, see how long some wait times are, and then. Head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because I want us to see that in the daylight because we saw it in the last video, well, the last time we came to Hollywood Studios in the dark. So let's go take some photos. I love the little details of the soldiers holding up the cookie. <laughs> We're just leaving Toy Story Land for the land of stars. Wars. Wars. <laughs> Yeah, so just through Slink after Slinky Dog straight out and we're into Star Wars land. Is it Batu? Batu? I don't know what it's called, but. I don't know, I don't like Star Wars. Yeah, this is a fan, but we're just having oh, a wander Toy around. Story fan. Toy Story is definitely our game. Fan. Not Star Wars fan. But it still looks incredible. It sounds good. No, I'm just recording. Space junk in the corner there. Disney really need to tidy up their space junk. Folded up in front of him. I'll put them pictures in as well. Amy's got a loads as well. Cool. Um, what are we doing now, guys? Just wandering around a bit more. Skyliner. Skyliner. Oh, we're gonna head out out of Star Wars, around to the Skyliner, and then have a look on there. Oh, open some random people now. <laughs> so yeah, heading on to Skyliner for a bit because we're parked out. So let's get out.
So let's head out of Star Wars and onto the Skyliner to go see some resorts. So we're just heading out of um, Hollywood Studios and there's character meet in Greece happening outside door. There's Mr. Popper's Penguins. There's Country Bear Jamboree over here. We've got Eeyore, Bolt and Tigger all meeting in the same area. That is so cool. You're going to be famous. <laughs> Definitely in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Let's head on to the Disney Sky. Just jumped off the Skyliner Art of Animation. Only reason we're here is because I want to go see all the cars figures that are around at the back of Anim Art of Animation, so let's go have a look. That was the art of animation cars bit. I wanted to just see cars, but there's like we'll finding Nemo. The Nemo bit that yeah, the Nemo bit looks awesome as well. Are we gonna get a photo in front of the uh, school? Stingray. Stingray. Can't remember the name. Not Disney nerds. <laughs> um, can't remember. It's Ray, I think his name is the school teacher. They all get on board. Can't My remember. My brain's not functioning yeah. now. I need coffee to... actually. I haven't even had a coffee yet. Yes, you have. I have one coffee today. Uh, I suppose I have to go get a Joffrey's in a minute. So we just walked from down there, across the building, and then we got a photo in front of Ray. I'll pop it in now. Head back on the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios. Go into the car or back in the studios or what? We'll figure it out. Watch your step. Left is the springs, we're headed out and we're going to the LBV outlets, um, Lake Buena Vista outlets in just across the road. But before that we're gonna head to a racetrack because I'm really wanting a coffee right now. And if you haven't been to a racetrack for a coffee or a swirl world, you're missing out. Oh sorry, man. that's the offer. So they do a reusable cup offer for, where is it? How much is this one? You buy the cup and you get five, yeah, you the the cup and you get five free refills on it. Look at the bottom, 
There's no prices on them. I'm not sure. You'd have to know. I'm not too sure of how much it is. I'll find out for you. But yeah, they they all come with five free free refills. Even these cold ones as well. If you're really thirsty, they do this one. I'm so tempted to get it. I don't, I've got enough suitcase room. Let's go get iced coffee. So I just ch chatted with the guy on the uh, till and the big ones are $10.99 with five free refills and the little ones are $5.69 but you still get five ref refills so technically free, really good. And you just fill up on the coffee over there. So we just got uh, cr frozen co iced coffee. I got a hot dog. Mrs. B got a hot dog too. What, she got honey mustard on there? You go. How you could can... I have honey mustard? Is that you there? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got two hot dogs, an iced coffee, medium iced and, coffee. Uh, medium iced coffee, and is that a large, a large blue raspberry, blue raspberry flea, oh, fleas, freeze, frosty, frosty, freeze, whatever you want to call it, freeze blast. And that came to how much, Mrs. B? $6.89. $6.89. That's what you say is good value. Love racetrack. So basically, you have to make this up, you have to push like ice coffee button and then put your creamer in and icing so a bit of a different way of doing it but it's well worth it and that's the cross section of the hot dog it's really big really chunky the chunky boy mrs b's demolished those already well no well most of it i've eaten the hot dog so i'm gonna scoff on this and we'll head over to the lbv outlet stores just over there so we've headed across to the lbv outlets and this out gap outlet has reminded me of the 90s. Let's head in, see if we can find some deals. Oh. Samsung sunglasses. Samsung sunglasses? That's strange. There's a Timberland factory store. We're just winning, Gap. I just. I don't think it's uh, operational of the food court. So there's a Santed Enchanted workshop for Christmas. That looks awesome. Let me just have a look at it. Yeah. That's what you want to see when you walk in the door. shop has got loads of bargains like more than half price and everything so we're gonna head into Wonder Armour and have a look around I couldn't really play it so much because there was a bit of uh, there was a bit of uh, copyright music half off in here as well Straight up. It's just a laid back vibe, baby. Straight up. It ain't nothing 
So that Under Armour back there had some um, Project Rock stuff in as well. Um, it was all 50% off, which is really good. So it was like $50 down to like 25. Really good deals. Gonna head into the Croc outlet now because I want a pair of black Crocs just for going outside and nip into the bins and stuff. And I'll show, show you inside the Croc shop. Oh my God, they've got the McDonald's Crocs straight away as soon as you walk in the door. They've got Christmas ones with Elf. If you've ever wanted a pair of Crocs, then this is definitely the shop to come to because there is loads. They even have the Echo Street Crocs. They're a bit weird looking, but any type of Croc you could imagine in this shop with all the gibbets and everything. So back in the left hand corner they've got buy two get two free clearance crocs. They are well cool. Bit, bit loud for me but... <laughs> so yeah, discounted very heavily in this one. No purchase today for Mrs. B for Crocs. No, because I thought we get them on as us just with just as good discount at home. LBV Lake Buena Vista factory outlets that is. We just finished up there. I didn't show every shop, but there is a few more shops that we didn't go. We went in, but we didn't show anything. Uh, oh, look loads, at that. loads of deals to be had in there. I'll pop up on the screen a map to where it is so you can find it because it is not near the really race, near the good racetrack. Yeah, it's near a good racetrack, but it's not <laughs> it's not one that you normally go to because it's quite a small small one. So I'll pop a picture of the map where it is so you can find it if you come for yourself. And there's loads of deals to be had. Noise. There. Noise. Camera noise. That's it. Camera noise. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the villa, dump all our stuff off. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is back on, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, we got a hold of the villa owners, and they said it was a fiber optic cable's gone in the area. No, the management. Or the manager, manager, the, the, the villa management. management. Villa management. So yeah, we're just heading back there now, and we'll update you when we uh, um, find out anything else. Yeah, cool. Shopping out the car, yes indeed. Eh? Having the bag. We've just come home from a hard day of shopping and going to the parks. 
and our bloody sprinklers are on literally covering the path look look at that it's literally spraying right across our path we have to make a run for it ah my stomach bubble ah it's soaked i literally got soaked quick go 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 hey we're in no, it's just we're back at the villa and we've been sorting ourselves out putting all our bits away and we went to walmart and decided to get some pasta and cheese and some sauce just to have a break from the fast food restaurants and stuff uh, we've got a nice big chicken that was like five dollars eighty four $5.98 or something, something like that. Something like that. It's about 5 or $6 for this like whole chicken, lemon. Was it lemon and herb or lemon and pepper or something? Lemon pepper? No, lemon pepper. Bought some garlic breadsticks similar to Olive, Olive Garden, sort of two seventy four for a pack of six. Fiesta blend cheese, great value. $2.22. So basically we spent about $12 on eating out. Eating in, sorry. So it's $6 three for the chicken. It was 74 cents for the pasta. pasta. $2.22 for cheese, $4 for the salad, um, $2.74 for that. It, yes, yeah, and not, the, the, the sauce was $2. Not much, yeah. So, not bad at all. So, yeah, we're going to munch on this, and then in a little bit, we've got something to show you. So, stay tuned for that. So, uh, this is what I was saying about in earlier on after dinner. We've got, I know a lot of people probably have had this, but we've, I've never had it, but we've got a full size eight ball pool table we've got a foosball table a little bar stall and stuff over there and also a giant air hockey table it's awesome i'll give a full room tour a full villa tour when uh when we nearly finish the holiday so that's day seven of christmas in orlando awesome day at hollywood studios this morning having a look at the uh lights and the ride or the decorations of the rides again got on slinker dog dash didn't think we'd get on that got on tara terror rocking roller coaster of aerosmith featuring aerosmith i'm forgetting that god you can tell i'm not a disney person i'm a i'm a universal person uh yeah and then we headed over to uh art of animation for the cars area and the little finding nemo bit that was awesome on the skyliner another first so yeah I'm going to end the video here guys, I'm in my pyjamas, I've had a wash, we're tired, the dishwasher's on, I'm making loads of noise. I'm going to have a chill out evening, we shall see you in the next one for another adventure. Be happy! Yay.